Hey guys, uh, quick update. Um, not on the ground because I did get hit on the ground, but I'll make a separate video on that. Hopefully, you can hear me. I think the voice recording is pretty bad on this phone. But anyway, uh, as you can see, the saltwater tank is gone. Uh, the fish I sold back to the fish store. So hopefully they'll go to people who can take care of it better than me. Um, but I am deciding to go freshwater again for this tank. This is a 29-gallon, uh, technically 30, with the uh, canister filter. So I am kind of veering um, towards discus again in this small tank. And before we go into the details of or the discussion of if it's possible in the small tank. It's been done quite a bit. It, actually, Tropica, you know, the big company, Tropica Plants and Aquariums and whatnot, they actually have three or four discus in an 18-gallon planted tank. Um, so it can be done. It, you know, I think 18 gallons is a little bit small. This is a 29. So I'm looking to keep around two to three maybe even one i know the schooling fish but you know yeah but anyway so um so well last time i kept discus it was not great um i had a, the tank had a lot of problems mainly algae and also water changes was very difficult to do so i want to do it right and to do it right I think there's three things that I'm going to address. The first is the water changes. So I'm going to make a pipe, air, not pipe, like a flexible pipe apparatus and a pump where I can pump the water. Basically, I'm a, this line right here is about a third. So every, every two days a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, uh, when I'm off, I'm going to do a, you know, change the water down to this level. So I'm going to get a decent pump. So I can pump the water from here all the way to the sink uh, over there in the kitchen. And so, you know, it's going to, everything's going to be very well thought out in terms of, you know, holding the pipe, the tubing into the tank. So as, as you can see, like, you know, a big tube will kind of just spill out if you didn't do anything about it or, you know, fall over. Like, that happened a couple of times before when I had discus. The water would just spill out and just would get all over the floor. It would just be a huge mess. So I'm going to make an apparatus to make sure that doesn't happen so that everything is very automated and not automated, but very well thought out. So that's the first thing. Water changes twice a week uh, to this level, about 33%. The second thing is the substrate. I might go with a bare bottom tank uh, instead of what I had before. I think before I had substrate up to here. So conventionally people will tell you, you know, get the substrate up to you above this black edge. So I think that's a problem it's because what happens, especially in a hotter tank like a discus tank, is that you get a lot of organics in there. So unless you're siphoning up the organics or you're good on your, you know, changing everything, it's, the organics are just going to settle in there and cake in there, and then it's going to cause a lot of, like water parameter differences and and whatnot. So either I'm gonna go with a bare bottom, or I'm gonna go with a very very thin layer of sand or gravel at the bottom. Okay, so that's two. It's the second difference. Um, actually, actually, in addition to the water changes, I found out and this that you can. Directly pipe the water from the sink into the tank and then treat the tank um, with the dechlorinator or the water purifier in the in the tank. So I didn't know this before when I was keeping discus. I thought they were too finicky. So I was doing a whole crazy aging the water, you know, dechlorinated, waiting it waiting for like twenty four hours to get the chlorine out. You don't have to. I guess we really don't have to do all that which will make it great for the water change. But anyway, sorry. The third thing is the filtration. Now, this is an extremely powerful uh, canister filter designed specifically more for saltwater fish. So this thing is going to be blasting like crazy. 
um, I'm hoping to kind of like direct some of these uh, inlets at the bottom so that it pushes all the waste towards this like intake right here. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet, but either way, it's going to have, you know, I'm going to have to diffuse the output a little bit because this is going to be way too strong for the discus fish. Okay, so filtration is much better this time than before. Uh, the third thing is scaling in the fish and scaling the tank into temperature. So in the beginning, I'm just going to do an aquascape. And also with the, with the same point is that the actual plants, and I'm going to do kind of like a... So these rocks are pretty old and pretty nasty. This driftwood is pretty nasty. So I'm going to buy new ones. Um, and I'm going to do kind of like a Valisteria, Valisteria or Vals uh, in the back. And then maybe some crypts in the front or just shorter Vals in the front. Uh, and two sides. So not an island, but like two sides here. And I think that would be good enough. It will look, especially with the flow of the, with the redirected flow and diffuse flow of the, filter, of the canister filter, you know, it'll have a really nice sway to it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And also the plants I'm going to put. So I learned this trick, uh, especially for those who are using a bare bottom tank. You can actually like take a really cheap socks, put the aqua soil in the socks, your substrate, whatever, and then plant the plants into that sock and just tie the sock up with like a twisty tie or something and put it into the tank. So now the soil will be encapsulated into that sock. So you can just place it anywhere. So I'm, I'm going to do that regardless if I do bare bottom or a light thin layer of sand. So that would basically allow me to take the plants in and out, especially if they have like an algae issue. I can take them out and kind of clean them off a little bit. Um, so that's the plants. And in terms of scaling... Now, obviously, the first thing I'm going to do is this aquascape, make sure, you know, the plants are doing well, uh, there's no algae. Then, in terms of stocking, I'm going to add, you know, obviously, in, in every single week or two weeks, um, probably, like, around eight rummy nose tetras, um, maybe four quarry cats at the bottom, and two auto sinklets, and that's it. And... For, obviously, that would be not, not all at once. Um, but in terms of the temperature and getting the tank ready for discus, so I'll start at the typical 75 degrees for a tropical tank. Or, and then each week, I will slowly increase the temperature, you know, 2 degrees or up to, all the way up to 86 so that the tank itself is adjusted to the high temperatures and algae-free before the actual discus goes in. Um, you know, and obviously I'll test, and also I have this thing here. This is a UV filter. There's a UV light in there. I don't think I'm gonna put that in there because this thing is really powerful. I mean, this shoots water out like crazy. So I'm not probably not gonna do that. I'll probably put this back in my 20 gallon in my room. So that's the plan for the discus tank. And then once everything is set with the ditter fish and there's no algae and, you know, the temperature is right above where the discus should go, then I'll consider getting the discus. And I want to get the discus now is because I the last time I kept discus was like two years ago, I would say. Um, I think a lot has changed in terms of what's out there. There's like this, I don't know what the, the exact coloration term for it is, but you can think about a discus with a checkerboard body, right? Like red. And instead of the whole body be checkerboard, only like the head the, and upper torso and the fins, the pectoral fins would be checkerboard and maybe right at the gills. And then the rest of the body would just be a full red or something like that. That looks, or, you know, likewise, sort of blue. It looks really, really nice, like very nice. Um, I think that's what I really kind of want in here. So anyway, hope you guys subscribe. Uh, tune into the journey of making, doing it right, basically. 
Um, you know, obviously I made a lot of mistakes in keeping fish over the years. I, hopefully I, you know, I'm at the point where I learn from all my mistakes and, you know, I would really love to have discus in this tank. Again, these rocks would not really, these, I'm just putting these rocks in there because I had them, uh, but they look actually pretty awful and pretty, a little bit too big for this tank. So I'm going to get new rocks and get new, a new driftwood piece as well. So I think the piece in terms of the layout would be probably some little bit driftwood here, here as well. And then some valves in the back or <clears throat> so it'll be an island kind of style. So there'll be valves here, valves there, different, like, you know, maybe, maybe an Anubis or not like a sword here, a sword there, shorter valves in the front. Uh, and that's about, so basically it has like a nice curve kind of like two separate partitions right there. I think that would look really nice. So anyway, that's the update on the fish tank. Uh, obviously the Grom got hit. So the Grom is being assessed right now. It's not a big, uh, not a big accident, but I was out for quite a bit. But anyway, uh, that's the update. Stay tuned and let's see if we can do this right.